Second question. What is given in the question? The magnitude of the electrostatic force between point charges Q1 26 microcoulomb and Q2 47 microcoulomb is initially 4.7 Newton. The separation is then changed such that the force magnitude is then 0 0.57 Newton. So better I will draw the diagram for this question by that you will get the clear information clear. So you have two charges. Let's we take Q1 is here. Q2 is here. And these two charges are separate with the distance D. And by the time how much force these two charges experience, it's experienced the force of 5.7 Newton. And then the separation changed. They did not mention how much it changed. But after you change the separation, after you change the distance, what happened to the force? You got the another value as 0 0.57. So now you have to compare the value of 0 0.57 to the value of 5.7. So initially you have a bigger number, but after you change the distance, how much the number you got, the force magnitude, it's 0 0.57. So, so how it possible? The whether the distance is decreased or increased. When you just see the value of the force, the second part after you change the distance, its value decreases. So generally, the force value get decreases when the distance will increase. So if you see the diagram, Q1 is here. And what is the Q2? Let's we take here. Now what, what happened to the distance? The distance increased. So whenever the distance get increased, the magnitude of the force will decrease. So for that purpose only we got the answer of the second part. Force is 0 0.57 Newton. Clear? So we don't know what is the distance. So better I can take the first part as R1. We don't know. Likewise, for the second part, after you change the separation, we don't know what is the distance. But we have the value of charges Q1 and Q2 as 26 microcoulomb and 47 microcoulomb. Now we have to find two answers. So because this question has two subdivisions. In the first subdivision, we are going to find the value of ratio of the new separation to the initial separation. What is the new separation here? The new separation is R2. Because if you read the second line, the separation is then changed. That means the new separation here is nothing but R2. What is the old separation? The initial separation R1. So they are asking about what is the ratio. We have to find this value. In the second part of the question, we are going to find what is the value of the new separation. That means we are going to find the value of R2 alone itself. For this, we have to use the Coulomb's law for each cases. So first I am going to apply the Coulomb's law for this case and then I am going to apply the Coulomb's law for this case. So better I am going to frame the equation here. What is Coulomb's law? F1 because we have two different diagrams. So I am going to take F1, this one and F2 here. Okay. So F1, I am going to apply the Coulomb's law for this case. What is the case? K multiplied by magnitude of Q1 multiplied by magnitude of Q2 divided by R1 square. So I am going to frame the equation for this also. <coughs> F2 which is equal to K magnitude of Q1 magnitude of Q2 over R2 square. Now I am going to substitute the value here. F1 value is given in the first part as 5.7 Newton and K value is a constant. 8.99 multiplied by 10 to the power of 9 and the magnitude of the first charge is 26 micro coulomb and 47 micro coulomb 26 micro coulomb 26 multiplied by 10 to the power of minus 6 multiplied by 47 micro coulomb 47 multiplied by 10 to the power of minus 6 <coughs> divided by R1 square because we don't know that value. Likewise, you have to write the equation, write the, the equation. You have to substitute the value 
in this uh, equation. So here F2 is 0 0.57, 0 0.57. Better I can take this as equation one. So after I substitute the value in the second equation, the second force is 0 0.57, which is equal to 8.99 multiplied by 10 to the power of nine, multiplied by 26 micro coulomb, 10 to the power of micro here stands for 10 to the power of minus six. And then the second charge magnitude is 47 micro coulomb divided by r2 square. So I'm going to give the number of the equation as second. So now in the first part, we are going to find the ratio. So for that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to divide the equation. Either one divided by two, or two divided by one. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to divide one divided by two. One divided by two. So let's we see what's the answer. So divide equation one or divide equation one by two. Both the left hand side and the right hand side. So what you will get in the left hand side? 5.7 over <coughs> 0 0.57 which is equal to this value divided by this value am i right so i'm going to write 8.99 multiplied by 10 to the power of 9 multiplied by 26 multiplied by 10 to the power of minus 6 multiplied by 47 multiplied by 10 to the power of minus 6 divide by r1 square likewise this part 8.99 multiply by 10 to the power of 9 multiply by 26 10 to the power of minus 6 multiply by 47 multiply by 10 to the power of minus 6 so what will happen and divided by r2 square am i right so when you Divide this in the right hand side, what will happen? All these values get cancelled with this value. Am I right? So your equation will become as 5.7 over 0 0.57, which is equal to R2 square over R1 square. When you just make the multiplication, this will go to the numerator. Am I right? And here we got the relation as R2 square over R1 square, which is equal to 5.7 over 0 0.57, which gives the answer of 10. Am I right? But we need the ratio of R2 over R1, the ratio of new separation to the initial separation. So here, R2 is the new separation and R1 is the initial separation. So we have to take the square root on both sides. When you take the square root on the left hand side, R2 square over R1 square will give as R2 over R1, which is equal to square root of 10, which is exactly equal to R2 over R1, sorry, R2 over R1. So better I will write here. So R2 over R1, which is equal to 3.16. What's the value of square root of 10? The value of square root of 10 is 3.162, <clears throat> that's it, there is no unit, clear? So this is the answer for the first part. But here we have to find the second part also. What is the value of the second part? We have to find what is the value of new separation. So for this, I'm going to use the second equation. What is our second equation? Our second equation is this. So I'm going to find the answer for the second part. So for the second part, I'm going to use second equation. I am going to rearrange the second equation. So I have to bring this r2 square to the left hand side of the numerator and I have to take this 0 0.57 to the right hand side of the denominator by that the equation becomes r2 square which is equal to <clears throat> 8.99 multiplied by 10 to the power of 9 multiplied by 26 multiplied by 10 to the power of minus 6 multiply by 47, multiply by 10 to the power of minus 6, divided by 0 0.57, clear? Now, 
get the value what is the value of auto square the value of auto square which is equal to check your calculator find the value 8.99 10 to the power of 9 multiply by 26 10 to the power of minus 6 multiply by 47 10 to the power of minus uh, 6 <coughs> divided by 0 0.57 so the answer here i got as 19.27 actually this is not 9 because it's a micro i'm right so the answer i got is 19.27 so we have to find the new separation value so take square root on both sides therefore r2 which is equal to square root of 27 when you take the square root this becomes r2 so the value of root 19.27 which is equal to 4.39 what's the value the new ration the new separation which is 4.39 meter clear so this is the answer for the <coughs> second question so here in the first part and the second part we are just dealing with the coulomb's law but the most important thing you have to identify what is the force in the first part what is the force in the second part 